Hi scholars, today is day um, three of the writing process and we're going to be talking a little bit about editing our work. So when we look at this piece right here, you would notice that there are a lot of mistakes just by looking at it, I bet. So remember when we edit, we need to go in order so we don't get mixed up and so we can keep track of what we already checked for. So we have this word, the word cups, to remind us <coughs> that we can start by checking for capital letters. So let's jump in and start with that first. Remember we put three lines underneath the letter that needs to be capitalized and we want to make sure that we also spot um, if we've used any incorrect capitals in the middle of our sentences. We only need them for I by itself, the beginning of sentences, or names of people or places. Um, so let's keep going right here. I'm looking at the beginning. Oh no, definitely needed to capitalize that because that was the beginning of my sentence. In my opinion, I, that's I by itself, would rather play in the snowy mountains than on a sunny beach. One reason I, oh, that seems like the beginning of my idea. I did a good job with that capital. I love the snow that my dog love it too. For example, it seemed like I was starting my idea right here. So I would need to capitalize that because that's the beginning of a sentence. That also helps me notice. Sometimes we notice that I should have put a punctuation mark there. So I better add that on too. For example, he will jump up and catch a mouthful of snow when I throw a snowball. Okay, I think I got it. All my capitals are corrected. Now we're going to check, can we understand it? Can the person who's going to read this completely understand what I was trying to say? Or does something sound funny? If I need to be able to tell if it sounds funny, I need to read it out loud. <clears throat> in my opinion, I would rather play in the snowy mountains than on a sunny beach. One reason I love the snow that my, ooh, one reason I love the snow that my, one reason I love the snow is that my dog, there we go, I'm missing the word is, is that my dog love it too. Ooh, it's one dog. So he doesn't, it doesn't say my dog love it. I should be saying my dog loves it. I needed an S there to make those two words agree. My dog loves it too. Hmm. Thinking about the word too, that's like I'm going to the park. Like I'm going to a place. I want it to mean also. Like my dog also loves it. When I write the word too like that, it's not spelt this way. It should be T. Oh, oh, the person reading this isn't going to understand unless I have the correct two. Two with a double O means also. <clears throat> For example, he will jump up and catch a mouthful of snow when I throw a snowball. Well, that's great. I think my reader will understand all of it now. <coughs> now, I'm going to go ahead and look for punctuation marks. In my opinion... Ooh, I have to pause there, so I'm going to put a comma. I would rather play in the snowy mountains than on a sunny beach. That seems to be the end of my opinion in my introduction sentence, but I forgot to end the idea with a period, so I put a period and circle it. And then I do have a capital. Okay, one reason I love the snow is that my dog loves it too. I think I'm a little bit excited about that. I love that my dog loves the snow. I'm going to use an exclamation point instead of a period. For example, ooh, again, I have to pause there. So I don't just say, for example, he will. I say, for example, he will jump up and catch a mouthful of snow when I throw a snowball. Awesome. I think it all makes sense. I have the right punctuation marks to help me pause when I need to um, and to end my ideas. Awesome. Done with punctuation, understanding, and capital letters. Oops, I forgot to write punctuation. Okay, now I need to check for my spelling. Remember, this part can be pretty tricky. In this part, you really, really have to look at your words and think, 
Is that how I usually see it spelt? Or you can ask a friend or family member or to help you circle some words that you should go check in the dictionary, okay? So we have the word wood. Definitely not how I would usually spell that. I can look that one up and it's W-O-U-L-D. I would rather play in the snowy mountains. Snowy. That looks really funny. I'm going to circle that. I know if we want the E sound at the end of a word, we can put a Y. Not a double E and not the letter E by itself. Y. Snow E. Snowy. Mountains. Ooh, that one's not spelled right either. We spell mountains like Mount Ains. That one's a weird one. But a parent could probably catch that and say, you need to look that one up. Snowy mountains than on a sunny beach. If you're comparing two things, it shouldn't be the word then. Like, I'm going to do this, then that. It's how, mu um, how much better is this than that. Or in math, we say how much longer is this than that. So it should be z, a, n, a. I hear the a sound in that word. A sunny beach. Ooh, double E does make the E sound, but not in this word. It looks funny. I know I can also make the long E sound in the middle of a word with E and A. I need to think of my teams that I know for my sounds and spell it until it looks like it's probably correct or look it up. Okay. Ooh, the word reason. That looks funny, but I know that Mrs. Sherrington has that in our assignment, so I should be able to look for that word. Okay, I love the snow. That looks correct. That looks good. Just follow each of the rest of the words one by one. Ooh, nope. Catch. To end a word, a lot of times with that short vowel, ah, I need to follow it with a T-C-H if I want to make the sound cat. A mouthful. Ooh, when I add full on the end, like hopeful or beautiful, it actually only needs one L. So mouth full of snow when I throw a snowball. The rest of it looks awesome. Okay, I've checked for all of them. Okay, there are two other things at the beginning of your paragraph that you definitely need to make sure it has. So I'm noticing at the beginning here, I should have left a bigger space. Remember, that's called an indent. So there should be two finger spaces before I start writing my paragraph on my first line. Oops, I didn't do that. I better fix that when I go to write my final draft because we always need an indent at the very beginning of our paragraph. Okay, Ooh, I see that on the video. Indent, I just drew a little area, arrow pointing in meaning I need to put a little bit more space right there. Then at the top here, I don't even have a title. Oh no, I should probably put snowy mountain versus sunny beach. That's gonna be my title when I write my final draft. Don't forget a title and an indent in your paragraph too. Those are very important things for any paragraph that we write. All right, I, I can't wait to see what you do today. Let Take a picture of what you edited, please, and send it to me on Seesaw.